Hello and welcome to a look at Heritage Park, a joint public-private partnership between the City of Sanford, Florida and the Sanford Waterfront Partners. This is for a new master plan for the development of three city blocks in the heart of a historic downtown that overlooks Lake Monroe. I'm Victor Dover, an urban designer and town planner, and I'm part of a big creative team working for the Sanford Waterfront Partners on the design of Heritage Park. So let's take a look at it. If this is a very special infill development. The idea is to construct new mixed-use buildings that reflect the heritage of the town while still providing for all the modern expectations of a great downtown living experience. Heritage Park is intended to revitalize downtown Sanford further and strengthen its connection to the waterfront. So along the waterfront, on Seminole Boulevard, the developers will establish a mix of waterfront living, shopping, dining, and entertainment with wide tree-lined streets, nice sidewalks, and interconnected outdoor plazas and paseos. This approach to the design, one that was common to the great traditional small towns of America once, offers more opportunities for knowing your neighbors and allows for daily interaction among people. It's more than buildings and streets, in other words. It's a pattern. And this pattern lends itself to casual get-togethers and memorable nights out. This kind of urban design matches the real Sanford, the one people already love, and makes Sanford a town where people want to live and work and have fun. On the corner of Seminole Boulevard and Palmetto Avenue, what we envision is a grand public waterfront esplanade and a distinctive tower. This is an architectural centerpiece for Heritage Park, a landmark for the neighborhood. Alongside the tower and the esplanade is a five-story residential building. The dwellings there will have views of Lake Monroe and the marina next door. Along Palmetto Avenue, we've designed live-work residential units. These would have convertible ground floors to allow for the option of small shops and office uses or expanded home-based businesses. The wide sidewalks and tree-lined streets and the bike paths will provide safe circulation if whether you're on foot or on bikes, and they'll connect the Sanford Riverwalk Trail that follows the shoreline of Lake Monroe. Downtown Sanford's already a pretty wonderful place for biking and walking, and Heritage Park will just continue that great tradition with streets that are welcoming and visually interesting. The brick pavers and the streets and the sidewalk will feel good underfoot, and they'll match the historic streets of downtown Sanford and visually join the waterfront to the downtown. As you approach 1st Street, Sanford's main hub for shopping and dining, we've designed buildings with storefronts on the ground floor and offices and residences on the floors above. Along historic 1st Street, we've designed a series of places to eat and lively retail shops that will light up at night. The idea is to bring home to within a convenient few steps of the places you want to go to from home in a walkable urban lifestyle. The goal, you might say, is to add to, but not overwhelm, the charming vibe that already is here in downtown Sanford. For that reason, the public spaces between buildings are meant to be crafted with as much care and attention to detail as the buildings themselves. The streetscape design is about simple, understated elegance in the materials and the geometry. Heritage Park is meant to pull together a kind of easy-to-navigate, good-looking, fun place to walk. A convenient shuttle service from 1st Street and Palmetto Avenue to the nearby Sunrail Station will give the residents access to the greater Orlando area and connect the visitors back to downtown Sanford without relying entirely on cars. The residences along Sanford Avenue will have views of the street scene, the Civic Center, and Mellon Park. And a special building will offer our nearly 500 residents a fitness center, pool, game room, community room, and the like.
Connecting Palmetto Avenue and Hood Avenue, we see a tranquil, pedestrian-only street that has three-story townhouses with private garage parking. In addition, the flats and duplex apartment buildings on Hood Avenue are designed to look like classic townhouses. Loft apartments on Lone the Paseo will share a courtyard that leads to a second floor open air restaurant terrace. This will be a great place to end the day and catch the evening breeze while you overlook Lake Monroe. Drawing from the charm and traditions of historic Sanford, that's our goal. So this will be the catalytic kind of new development that transforms some vacant parts of Sanford's downtown into the lively, walkable community you've seen here. Thanks for watching this preview of Heritage Park coming soon to Sanford, Florida. Sanford Waterfront Partners and the design team hope you'll stay tuned in and let us know what you think.